What makes human brain unique? One of the most exciting questions and difficult for neuroscientists to answer about the human brain is what sets our brains. We really don't understand what makes the human brain special. Studying the differences of the level of cells and circuits is a good place to start, and now we have new tools to do just that. In a study published in the journal Nature Neuroscience, on August 27, 2018 reveal one possible answer to that difficult question. Gabor Tamas, a neuroscientist at the University of Szeged in Hungary, is the investigator. The research team has uncovered a new type of human brain cell, seen only in human and primate brains, that has never been seen in other well-studied laboratory animals. They named these new cells rosehip neurons. The dense bundle each brain cell's axon forms around the cell's center looks just like a rose after it has shed its petals. The newly discovered cells belong to a class of neurons known as inhibitory neurons, which put brakes on the activity of other neurons in the brain. The researchers don't yet understand what these cells might be doing in the human brain. Their absence in the mouse points to how difficult it is to model human brain diseases in laboratory animals. The researchers used tissue samples from post-mortem brains of two men in their fifties who had died and donated their bodies to research. They took sections of the top layer of the cerebral cortex, the brain that is responsible for human consciousness and many other functions that are unique to human. Cerebral cortex is much larger, in humans, than in other animals and is the most complex part of the brain and generally accepted to be the most complex structure in nature. They studied the human brain using a classical approach to neuroscience, conducting detailed examinations of cells' shapes and electrical properties. At the Allen Institute, the team uncovered the suite of genes that make human brain cells unique from each other and from the brain cells of other animals. The Allen Institute group, in collaboration with researchers from the J. Craig Venter Institute, found that the rose hip cells turn on a unique set of genes, a genetic signature not seen in any of the other animal brain cell types they have studied. The University of Szeged researchers found that the rose hip neurons form synapses with pyramidal neurons, another type of neuron in a different part of the human cortex. What appears to be unique about rose hip neurons is that they only attach to one specific part of their cellular partner, indicating that they might be controlling information flow in a very specialized way. Inhibitory neurons are like brakes on a car, the rose hip neurons would let the car stop in a very particular spot on the drive. They act like brakes that only work at the grocery store, for example, and not all cars, or animal brains, have them. This particular cell type can stop at places where other cell types cannot stop. The car or cell types participating in the traffic of a rodent brain cannot stop in these places. The researchers next step is to look for rose hip neurons in other parts of the brain, and to explore their potential role in brain disorders. Our brains are not just enlarged mouse brains, people have commented on this for many years. But this study gets at the issue from several angles. Many of our organs can be reasonably modeled in an animal model, but what sets us apart from the rest of the animal kingdom is the capacity and the output of our brain. So it turns out humanity is very difficult to model in an animal system. That makes us human. Thank you.